Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft Let's Play. We're on the 44th episode, my friends, and today we are in the middle of nowhere, because why not? No, I'm just kidding. We're actually heading over to the swamp biome, ladies and gentlemen, because we are wanting to farm out a bunch of slimes. Now, the reason why I want slimes is to make a couple of slime blocks, and the reason why I want a couple of slime blocks is to make myself an elytra launcher, okay? This will be the first ever time I construct an elytra launcher, but it is something I would like to do in one of the tree branches back in Canopy City Tree Base. So... Yeah, I'm seeing this guy straight away, which is fan freaking tastic. So, why don't you get set up? Ah, oh, god damn it. Well, they've all fallen down. That's all good and dandy, isn't it? Ah, uh, you, sir, can go away. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just like, like, kamikaze this. Ah, oh, buddy, get out of here, get out of here. You can get out of here, you can get out of here. Boof, boof. Are we gonna get 18? Because that's the amount we need. Oh, boy. All right, boof, get out of here. And you can get out of here. And you can get out of here. Oh, they've all got out of here. Oh, well, there we go. Wow. We got 29? Wow, that's quite something, guys. <laughs> But anyways, I just want to, I just want to once again thank you guys for the amount of support you've been showing for this series. It really is, it really is quite something to see that you guys are, uh, you know, still supporting the Minecraft Vanilla Let's Play community. It's really quite something. I don't feel like there's a great deal of Vanilla Let's Players out there anymore, but it, the fact that you guys are still supporting not only me, but other people, whether it be on the Hermitcraft server, or other people who I personally watch, people like B-double-O or stuff, or Etho, you know, it, it, we do, we do very much appreciate the fact that you guys are, are still, you know, very into the vanilla community. So honestly, guys, it is very, very much appreciated. Thank you so much. But I need to head back to base. So I need to head south in order to get back to base. I do believe that this is going to be the Dark Oak Forest, which leads us back. So yeah, we're going to head back. Oh yeah, now a villager zombie spawns when I don't have the materials to cure you with. That's mildly annoying. <laughs> God freaking darn. Oh, I always love flying past this thing, man. Oh, that's so cool. Alrighty, guys, so yeah, we're back at base now, my friends. We have ourselves enough to make ourselves three slime blocks, which is more than we need, actually. So we're going to have a bit of a, a, a surplus, which is very, very welcome. There we go. So other things we need include a piston, which I do believe is this crafting recipe. There we go. And we need ourselves some slabs, and I do believe some glass as well. So I think what I'm going to go and do is I'm going to very quickly try to gather up all the materials I need, and then I will bring you guys back once we're ready to actually start this thing. Alrighty guys, so this is the progress I've made so far with regards to the elytra launcher. As you can see, we've got two fences on either side of a water source which is facing into this dispenser right here. Now, on top of the fences is some uh, furnaces or, well, you can use any block that isn't moved by slime blocks. And then what we need to go and do is we need to place ourselves a sticky piston with two slime blocks attached to it. And then on the edge of that, we're going to have ourselves a glass pane which is going to connect to the this furnace here to this furnace here and this slime block right here now the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to break this temporarily we are going to put ourselves a hopper facing into it with a chest or a double chest right here and then what we're going to go and do is we are going to grab all of the stuffs from inside of that chest so all of the boats and we are going to dispense them all and all should be good to go so uh let me go and put that in there and then we can start grabbing out all of these boats and chucking them in the double chest so they filter into the dispenser and then we're simply going to dispense all of the boats so they are good to go all right so uh that one's now empty so let's go ahead and get ourselves a bunch of boats out of here and basically all we're going to do is just fill up this double chest Alrighty guys, and that is the double chest now filled up, so all we need to do now is we need to activate the dispenser, and to do that without going ahead and breaking anything or making something else activate, which shouldn't do, I'm going to go and put the lever right here, if I can, if I can that is, there we go, and then all we need to do is we need to hold down right click and dispense all of the boats, so let's get on with it. And there we have it my friends, all of the boats have now been dispensed, so what we need to do now is we need to activate this particular piston, uh, can I like put it on top? Yes I can! Alright, so this is a sticky piston and basically it's gonna push that across and then pull it back in and that somehow aligns all the boats, so let's go and do that. There we go, looking good. And then what we need to go and do is we need to get rid of this piston and this particular block right here. Okay, all is looking good now, my friends. 
Alrighty guys, I'm just putting in the finishing touches for this Elytra launcher and well I really really hope that it works because if it doesn't work then uh, there must be something I'm doing that's like catastrophically wrong So we've got the ladder right here. We need to put a ladder on the on this side over here We need to get rid of this right here. Whoa Well, okay, if that guy is anything to go by holy crap, then this thing should be absolutely amazing All right, so you can go right there. We'll have ourselves. I'll grab this leaf block back Okay, and then I need to go ahead and place some blocks on top of here. So let's go ahead and get rid of them. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and try to place... Nope, that's not right. Dang it! If I can, like, place that on top of that. There we go. All right, so I guess we're ready to give this a shot. At least I hope we are, anyway. Let's go and uh, let's just roof this off really quick. There we go. And I feel like I should get rid of all of my stuff just, uh, just you know, just as a just in case kind of procedure. Because we may wind up dying today. Because, you know, if, if tests do not go well, then dying is something. It's a very real thing that can happen. So, yeah, let me go ahead and uh, put some of that away. And pretty much I'm just going to put everything away. So, Elytra Bow, all of you lot can go in there. I've got myself 21 arrows. So, yeah. This is going to be pretty interesting. This is like the moment of truth, my friends. I've never, ever, ever made an elytra launcher in the entire time I played the game. So if this works first time, I'm going to be the happiest guy ever. Oh, it works! It works! Yeah! <laughs> I got an elytra launcher on my work, folks. Oh, that is fantastic. That is truly fantastic. And you can barely see it. You can barely see it from the underside. Oh my lord! Guys, I can't believe it! We've got a working elytra launcher! This is the greatest day ever! Oh my lord, dude, I've got to do that again! That is incredible! Thank you so much, Azuma Void. Your tutorial was, was really good and it was especially, you know, easy to follow. So, honestly, buddy, thank you so much. I do believe it's actually based on someone else's design. I do remember him saying in the video. So, of course, I will give uh, full credit in the description of this video. If you would like to go ahead and check out the tutorial or the original creators of this launcher, do be sure to head down into the description. But, guys, oh, that, that didn't work. Why did that not work? Oh boy, we're in a bit of a predicament now. Ooh. Um, right, uh, ooh. Should I, like, break this block? No, I can't break that block. Oh, I don't have a pickaxe on me. I'm actually stuck in here, man. I don't think I can, like, walk back up there either without, without like, moving the boats and disturbing the flow. So, uh, I, I may have to, I don't know, man. I may have to, like, just punch this out. I don't want to break the leaves below me because I don't have a great deal of leaves left. Hmm. Okay. There was something going on there. Maybe I didn't press the space button or something. No idea. But whatever the case. Oh, there's some leaves down there. I kind of... Oh, damn, some. I kind of want them back. There we go. All leaves are good leaves. All right, let's try that again. All right, guys. Here we are. Take number three. So, yep. Go forwards. Press space. And yeah, man. How high can we get? Y equals 194. Dude, this is so amazing, though. I love the fact that we got an elytra launcher, dudes. Look at this tree as well. It's looking pretty badass, isn't it? Wow. Go on, one more go. One more go for the sake of consistency. And then we'll move on to something else. All right, heading up the branch. And here we go. Go up here. Press forwards, space, and yeah! Perfect. All right, let's have a look. 200. Hey, we reached 200 on the y-axis, folks. Look at this. We can easily get to our ice farm as well. Oh, this is like the greatest day ever. I can't believe I've actually got a working elytra launcher for the very first time by myself. That's so cool. All right. I'm really, really happy about that, my friends. Like, you have no idea how, how, how hyped I am about that. Like, I'm so hyped, dudes. <laughs> Sweet. All right, guys. I think it's time to move on to something else. All right, guys. So the time has come to work a little bit more on this enchanting setup. And more specifically... The section above it because as you can see I spanned the branch above the enchanting section and we got a little bit of a space up here And the space up here is going to be stuff like uh, like like chests for books and lapis lazuli and all kinds of stuff You know related to enchanting, you know, we might put a chest for enchanted books up there as well But uh, I don't know we'll have to we'll have to see how it goes First of all what I think we're gonna go and do is we are going to grab some stuff from down here There we go, and then oh hang on we should probably go 
grab some lapis while we're here as well. There we go. Let's just grab half of it all. And I'll tell you what, we're going to grab some books, some leather, some feathers, and some ink sacks. And we are also going to go ahead and grab some more from in here. There we go. Got ourselves a bunch of leather and sugar cane. I feel like the time has come for another harvest. So I'm thinking we go ahead and, uh, and we grab ourselves a bunch more books. And then I'll meet you guys back at top. Aha! Using the furnaces on the elytra launcher as functional furnaces. I mean, why not, man? Why not, is the question I'm putting to you guys. <laughs> Alright guys, so the time has come to get this thing decorated. So, what I'm actually going to start off with is an armor stand. I feel like an armor stand so we can like get a set of armor on there that we may need to enchant. Or, you know, it might be something we've already enchanted or something like that. Uh, I don't know, I just feel like that'd be a cool idea right there. Uh, we have ourselves a couple of anvils because you never know how many anvils you might need. And I'm thinking maybe a chest right here. And possibly, ooh, maybe a chest right here? I mean, we can still get to this pretty easily, right? Yeah, I feel like that's a pretty cool thing. All right, so this one we are going to fill with books. I don't even know why I bought the ink sacks and feathers with me, because we already have a book factory. We don't really need it. So we've got a place for enchanting books. We're going to have ourselves a chest for lapis lazuli. All right, so something like this. Uh, we might just go ahead and put some blocks in there, just as so. So we've already got like a bit of a, uh, a stockpile. So that's always good to see. And then perhaps we could have ourselves a chest for stuff we need to enchant and then stuff that has been enchanted you know what i'm saying i don't know man maybe we don't need a i don't think we're gonna need a chest for stuff that's been enchanted because we're gonna make a, a toolsmith slash armory to to hold that kind of stuff hmm i don't know i feel like maybe a crafting table wouldn't go amiss here either as well uh so i'm thinking we just go ahead and chuck that um I don't know, we might just put it here, and then this can still open, even though that's got that on top. There we go. All right, and then we are looking for some item frames, like so. We'll make this place look all nice and fancy. A little bit of that, okay, and then we can have ourselves a book on this one. We can have ourselves a piece of lapis lazuli on this one. And on this one, uh, I don't know, we need to get like a tool or something. Uh, have we got any like un unenchanted tools? I think we might just have to make one, maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's just head down bottom really quick. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, might as well just make something out of diamond. I mean, why not? If we're gonna if we're gonna go for something, we might as well go all in with it. There we go. So, Mr. Diamond Pickaxe, you're gonna be chucked inside an item frame and you will never ever be used. How do you feel about that? <laughs> he probably feels terrible because that is his purpose. Boom! There we go. And this one, I'm not entirely sure. What else can you enchant here? Books? Uh, maybe enchanted books will go in here. If I transfer the enchanted books from my little wood shack up here, I feel like it might fill this up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking we go ahead and grab some books and we'll go ahead and place them in here. And you know what? I'm actually feeling like what we should do is place a chest on top of here. And then we could put the crafting table here with maybe a flower pot on top just to add a bit of nature to it. Yeah, I'm, f I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, my friends. Let's head down, let's grab the enchanted books, and let's get this thing rolling. All right, guys, let's get this thing finished once and for all, huh? So, uh, we're going to go and put ahead a very bad book. So, I don't know, maybe for this fire protection one, you can go in there. And then we can put all of the enchanted books we currently own in this world in here. Uh, what have we got? Power 4, Sharpness 3. We've got Depth Strider. That's pretty nice. Frostwalker 2. That's also kind of nice. Alright, I also made myself another set of diamond armor because, you know, it's always good to have a replacement set of armor, you know, if and when you wind up dying. Uh, the lapis chest, that's all good. Uh, nothing in here just yet. We can go ahead and put ourselves a flower pot with, I don't know, maybe a jungle sapling in there. That's looking kind of nice. And then maybe we can have ourselves some, uh, some vines coming off here as well. Now... Moving on, in order to go ahead and decorate this place just that little bit more, I came up with a bit of an idea to try and make this place look like it's a bit mossified. So here's the plan. We're going to go ahead and replace this with a grass block. We're going to go ahead and put a piece of long grass on top of there with a vine. Okay, now, hmm, what are we feeling about this? I feel like it, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of liking it. It kind of gives the feel that there's a bit of moss on the branches, you know what I'm saying? I think this could be a very, very cool thing to do. So, uh, let's try it on here, perhaps. So, once again, going to go and bone me all that, put that on there. And, oh, hello. <laughs> and, yeah, you can't really see it from the bottom, unfortunately. But I think what I may wind up doing 
is putting this sort of mossy effect all over the place. So perhaps what I could do is put another one here with a bit of grass and a bit of that and a bit of that. Okay, and then maybe I could just go ahead and sort of surge my way round and try to do the same sort of effect. So I'm going to go ahead and do this particular branch right here and we'll see how it looks. Alrighty guys, so this is what I've got going right now and... Again, I gotta say, I'm actually rather liking it. <laughs> I really do think that this has added a nice little mossy effect to this uh, to this here branch. Ah, oh, just look at it, man. That's really, really cool. I gotta say, I'm a big, big fan of that. So uh, you know, a bit of a bit of a little pat on the back, but uh, obviously, you guys will be the judge of how good it really looks. So do, of course, uh, leave your responses as to how good or bad you think this looks in the comments area below. I'm once again always open to feedback and suggestions from you guys. Are very, very much appreciated. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the enchant branch done. So I think what we're gonna go and do to finish off this particular episode is I'm gonna go ahead and grab out these and these. We're gonna go ahead and finish off lighting this place with these sort of floating bauble things y Yeah that all right, let's do that. Let let's put some lights up All right guys, I am happy to say that the lighting has now been fixed So I guess the ultimate test is to go ahead and see what kind of light levels we're looking at in here And whether or not we've got any light level sevens in here because if we do then we're gonna have a bit of a problem with mobs So let's go ahead and start getting oh oh dear that wasn't supposed to happen Whoopsie, I kind of broke the world. No, I didn't. I <laughs> didn't really break the world. I'll tell you what, let me just uh, take one from there and uh, replace that real quick. And let's get that out of my inventory so I don't wind up, like, making a stupid mistake. All right, and let's continue on with uh, getting rid of the torches. And uh, apparently I'm breaking everything because I'm a complete noob. All right, let's grab that back out. And let's put a piece of grass back on top. There we go. All right, so again, we're looking for light level 7. And it doesn't look like we're getting any, which is a good, good sign. So let's keep going and let's see how we do. Alrighty guys, so all torches have now been removed and I've pretty much scoured the entire place to see if there's any light level 7 areas and well, it doesn't appear to be the case. There doesn't appear to be any light level 7 areas so therefore, no hostile mobs will be able to spawn inside of this base, which I've got to say, I'm very, very happy about. I was a bit worried that, you know, me getting rid of the torches would allow hostile mobs to spawn, but uh, that's not the case. I'm, I'm really, really happy to say that it's all good. So, I think the last two things I need to do is I need, need to go ahead and vine the rest of this place up, and also, I need to get the underside of the tree done, and also get the leaves done as well, because I've still got that harsh transition from no leaves to loads of leaves. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get on with that stuff and I'll bring you guys back once each of them are done. Alright guys, so as you can see, I've now got all of the little glowstone torch lamp things dangling from the tree all the way around and I gotta say, they're looking pretty damn good. So I'm thinking the next thing we do is we farm out a bunch of vines from my little vine farm and we can continue with vining up this place. We need to do the interior as well as the exterior. So hopefully this is all grown back. Yes it has. Oh yeah. I love it when things go my way, my friends. Ha! <laughs> awesome. All right, let's get on with it. Alrighty guys, and that is the vines put on the outskirts of the tree. As you can see, I've literally just gone around and randomly placed them in. So they should look pretty cool once they're good. Can I like grab onto these? Huh? Okay, I can. Okay, cool. Uh, can I like place these in just to try to, uh, you know, encompass this thing a bit better? Uh, okay, so that can go there. Uh, do we even need these here? I don't know, man. I feel like I could just put the leaves back in. So if we put the leaves back in there, hopefully what should happen is we should be able to just launch ourselves out of there. I feel like we should test it, though, just to, just to you know, make sure that we can, because if not, then we may just wind up going to our death. So I'm thinking we put on our elytra and we give it one more test. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. Going up to the launcher and hopefully this works because if not, I'm going to be a little bit sad. All right, here we go. And yeah, it still works for nose. Hey, man. I love it when things work, dude. <laughs> oh, look at it. It's so secluded now as well. We could just like poof ourselves out. That's amazing, man. 
I am so, so incredibly happy that that works. Right, okay. So I guess while we're doing things, just to finish things off, we can jump into the comment question of the video, which comes from Rafa. What did you play first? Or Minecraft or Terraria? Or Terraria or Minecraft? Uh, I played Minecraft first. Minecraft was the first game I played. I played it back in November of 2010. My first ever video was a Minecraft video, and that was posted in December of 2010, so it didn't take me long to, to, to consider, you know, making videos in terms of Minecraft, so yeah, and uh, Terraria, I wound up starting to play that in May of 2011, so yeah, I started playing Minecraft in Alpha version 1.2.6, and I played Terraria in, I do believe, version 1.0.6? It was an early build of Terraria. It was a very, very early build of Terraria. But, uh, yeah. And, funny enough, this channel was a Minecraft channel when I first started out. Terraria simply took over in terms of popularity. But, you know, Minecraft is still the core root of my channel. Obviously, Terraria has become the core root of my channel as well, considering the amount of people who are subscribed here for it. But, uh, yeah. A little bit of uh, FYI, in case you guys didn't know that. So, yeah. Oh, i got to say, my friends, I... I am so, so happy with the progress we made in today's episode. We've got the rest of the lamps in. We've got the rest of the vines in. We're just waiting for them to grow. We've got this branch right here, which is awaiting your guys' feedback. If you do like this, then I will, of course, go ahead and do it for the rest of the branches. i got to say, I personally like it a lot. But uh, if you guys have any other suggestions or improvements for, for this mossy effect here, then leave them in the comments area below. But i got to say, I'm liking it personally. And, of course, we have ourselves the top area, which, of course, consists of the anvil and a bunch of other stuff so we can enchant stuff which is very very cool in my opinion and then of course we got ourselves an elytra launcher which again very very happy about so yeah this tree base is really really starting to come along my friends it really really is and i'm really really happy about it so yeah man oh oh that was a fail launch what the hell was that Okay, that was strange. All right, and press space, and yeah, there we go. All right, guys, it is time to end off this episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, and of course, you're excited to see more, do be sure to drop a like rating. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. I don't know why I feel the need to take a screenshot of the base every time I go past it, but... I don't know, man. It's just so cool. It's probably my my personal most favorite build to date. So, yeah, that's saying something. And I do appear to be stuck in the ground. So that's good and dandy. Oh, God, I really am stuck in the ground. <laughs> I may have to come out and go back in. Oh, look at this as well. I, I, I kind of, like, did this. I customized the save icon by going into the to the save folder. And you get something called the icon.png, I do believe. And you could just go ahead and customize it. So I've customized these two. I've got my personal world and my Python plays Minecraft world. So, yeah, kind of awesome. All right, are we still glitched? Oh, no, we're okay. Cool. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.